Hello everybody and welcome to another AFK journey video. Today I would say I am not early for sure, but I'm right on time for a video considering, hey, uh, I have a full-time job that I work 10 hour days. Uh, I actually had overtime this past week, so I worked five 10 hour days, really fun. Uh, and then sometimes whenever I'm home, my girlfriend also obviously lives with me and this is our bedroom and my computer desk is here and when she's home, I can't really record. Not her fault, I'm just saying. I, I'm, I'm not early. To this video by any stretch of the mind this came out uh yesterday but i would say i'm right on time in terms of you know a busy guy all right so we're gonna react to this i have not seen it at all uh, it was really killing me to not watch it but i wanted to wait to watch it on stream uh or, or on video that's what, exactly what we're going to do we're gonna react to it. we're gonna see how we feel and let's get into it a story begins on a rainy morning she looks really cool she's going to be coming to the to the limited time uh banner that's special to her after vala is gone and i heard a little birdie right i believe i believe right uh that vala is going to be after characters are on the special banner where they are the 100 percent chance uh that you pull them and also it's like a it's a nicer pity it's like only 30 pulls for the hard pity of the character and yeah i believe that once they leave that banner they're going to go to the standard banner to all pulls uh, so they can be pulled by by the regular pulls that pull every other legendary and you can wish lister and everything that is going to be really cool if that is the case um so uh that doesn't mean Fla uh, vala is going away but the banner that is specific to her that has a 100 percent chance of you getting her that is going away Let's, uh, let's watch this trailer. Florabel tolls her flower wand. In the soft glow of the rain, bells rouse the dawn. Wow! The bulb sprites are the first to stir. Oh, we'll be Bounding to the bell for class. <laughs> Florabel raises the flower wand high. The flower wand gleams in the misty air. Her gentle touch as soft That's cute. as the morning dew. The droplets have turned into light. Children, gather round. <laughs> yes, teacher. <laughs> Flora Bell twirls. Little vibe. Flower wand, singing loudly. <laughs> Wake up, flowers. From the dark and rainy night, rediscovering the hues of the air. This is nice. This is the vibe. Singing loudly, the awakened flowers enliven the dark forest as winter quietly fades away and the most glorious spring has arrived. Wow. So, that's not it. Um, we still have about another minute of this trailer left. But, I would just like to say that although a different art style than HSR, these are also clearly very very well produced and they look great right these trailers look great it's awesome i've really been enjoying this game really been enjoying this game okay not the final version or maybe it might not be final version could be final version though Gonna show us her abilities. Overgrowth. Tiny sharp tutor. Wait. I was supposed to be looking at what she's doing. Okay, let's see what overgrowth does. Skill overgrowth has a character with the up arrows. I'm gonna assume it's the shield. Just a shield on herself and her ally in the back. Um, looks like she increased the size of the ally in the back. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. Honestly, it just looks like she has a shield, right? And sharpshooter is, it almost looks like a uh, Lulu, like whenever you put picks on someone, uh, their attacks will like add another like burst of damage. Interesting. Pounding blow. Oof! 
Right, a big AoE hit that knocks people down. And then her master upgrade is Battlefield Strategies. Oh, it's just saying you can master Battlefield Strategies. Okay. That's coming in April 16th. That's two days. So Vala's banner will be going away in two days, and her banner will be coming out uh, very soon. Uh, yeah, in two days. Um, I would like to see more about this character. Uh, can we look up Flora Bell Kit? Four Bell Skills. Okay, we got the link. There we go. Let's look. Okay. So. Instead of just taking guesses, let's talk about this. The Gentle Teacher. Flora Bell adores her children and is deeply passionate about her role as a teacher in Jade Lake Academy. Her greatest wish to ensure carefree and growth to all children in the Academy. Okay. So this is just, this is lore. Right? Okay, she's always accompanied by three little companions. That's interesting. I wonder how that would affect the balance of the game. She always has them out. Um, interesting. Okay. A spear, a short bow, and a large hammer. So it's almost like you have a marksman, a warrior, and a uh, and a tank, and she's definitely a support. Hmm. Pounding blow. So this is the ultimate. Reading the ultimate first. At the start of the battle, Florbell summons her spear wielding bulb sprite to assist her. When casting her ultimate. Florbell summons a mighty hammer wielding bulb sprite, dealing high damage and knocking enemies within the area in the air with powerful AoE attacks and control effects. Florbell is an ex excellent choice for crowd control formations. Okay, so she has some CC. She has an AoE CC knock up, an overgrowth. Uh, she feeds a snack to the bulb sprite with the highest attack, enlarging it. Yep. Okay, we did see it get larger. I I didn't. Um. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, and giving it powerful buffs for a limited duration. Don't ask her. Ask her don't underestimate the skill. It can deal a significant damage to enemies in many combat situations. Okay, that's pretty good. So, did she also give it the shield? Or maybe, I don't know, the shield's on the one in the back, too, even though it doesn't have overgrowth. I don't know. So, we just enlarge it and give it uh, powerful buffs. So, I think she'll be pretty good with, like, uh, hyper-carry characters, kind of like Cecia. Um, or probably with Vala, too. I mean, if she overgrowths Vala, it's probably going to go crazy. Tiny Sharpshooter. Uh, this is the other skill. Florbell summons a short bow. Uh, summons a short bow bulb sprite. If there's already a short bow bulb sprite in the battlefield when the skill is cast, it will instead unleash a burst of arrows, hitting enemies with multiple shots for a short amount of time. Okay, so it wasn't like she didn't she didn't put a buff on an enemy, um, or on an ally to give them a bunch of extra hits. I mean, she kind of does that, but it's only just the one. She can't like pick any ally. It's it's her bow character. Okay, the skill goes for about a decent ranged attack capability. Protective Blessing. This is her passive. So her passive skill grants her a permanent shield to allied summons. Okay, there we go. There we go. That's what it is. That's the shield that's on her characters. Uh, she never hesitates to land a fellow, to land a hand to fellow summoners. I'm sure you already have someone in mind who will make a great teammate for Four Bell. Okay, so she actually gives a shield to Cecia's clone as well. Uh, not CC's clone. CC is a uh, summon. That is insane. This character might actually be incredible already. This might be an S tier character. Cause CC is already an incredible character, and then just adding her, adding Florabell to that is is gonna be nuts. Conclusion: Florabell, blooming maiden, hero, a hero in AFK journey who's both excellent damage and gentle, powerful appearance. To earn more about this character. Download AFK Journey now and embark on a journey as Magister Merlin. Okay. So, her limited rate up recruitment banner is going to be alive from April 16th to May 10th. Okay, so about almost a month. Like three weeks, not four weeks. Okay, that's pretty cool. Awesome. Uh, thank you guys for watching the video and learning about, you know, the new AFK Journey character. I've really been enjoying this game. I am going to continue creating content about this game. If I was a bigger content creator, 
I would 100% have made a different channel for this. I, I actually watched Mtashed and Vulcan, who I both found through HSR and basically their main games on their main channel. Uh, the main game that they both play is Honkai Star Rail, just like me. The problem is I don't have the ability to just create a second account like they do, like a, a separate YouTube channel, and instantly get a bunch of subscribers and uh, viewers and everything like that. I don't have the brand recognition for that yet. I need to just put everything on the one channel, grow the one channel, of course, and then we can spread out a little more in the future. Um, I can't spread out my audience before I even have one. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, the uh, uh, hopefully if you have been watching me for HSR content or Honkai Star Road content, uh, thank you so much. And I really hope that I can help you uh, get into AFK Journey um, and that you don't hate the fact that I post AFK Journey content. Uh, because it is actually a really good game. I actually got all of my friends and some coworkers, some some people who aren't even my coworkers, but work at the same like in the same building I do. Uh, I got them playing and we've all made a guild together. Um, so that was fun. That was fun. Uh, I would like everybody to know I am on. Let me see what server I'm on so that I can say uh, if you're interested in joining us in our server. Uh, I will, I will absolutely love that. You know, if it could just be like my community and my friends, uh, that would be awesome. So real quick, let me just find this conversation. Okay. I found it. I'm on server uh 341 so if you want to make an account make sure that you're on server 341 add aqueous it's just the same as my youtube uh and then send me a message send me a dm on the game and tell me that you are subscribed to my channel and i will happily i would love to let you join the guild that would be awesome anyway thank you all for watching if you enjoyed the video like it if you dislike it it is what it is you probably either don't like me or you don't like you know afk journey being on the main channel that's okay. I completely understand. Uh, but yeah, uh, I will also be playing Wuthering Waves on the main channel as well. So it, it's about time, you know, I'm, I'm spreading out a little more than Hawkeye Star Rail. So I'm going to talk about that in a future video. Probably I'm going to actually make a video right now talking about that, all of that. So yeah, actually I'm going to make a community post. Screw it. Yeah. Subscribe Hit the notification bell piece.